Silent in the night, with eyes so bright, wisdom symbol in the moonlight. Who am I? Possibly a court of owls. Subscribe, hit the like button if you're new here. Like I said, subscribe. Check us out, we're Digital Charcuterie. We're just 757 days away from the Batman 2 by Matt Reeves starring Robert Pattinson. The script is happening. The script is happening. The Penguins drop, drop in, dropped, whatever you're watching this. It's either on or it's coming on. Uh, very excited for that. One villain we talked about a little bit on Monday's, on Tuesday's live stream on Super Tuesday was uh, the Court of Owls making an appearance in the Batman 2. The Court of Owls, to me, feels like a villain, I guess it's a villain, that would be prime for the Matt Reeves Batman universe, for the Reevesverse. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation since before the first movie even came out that the Court of Owls would have a presence within it. And when you watch that movie, you can kind of feel the undertones of the Court of Owls being there. So without further ado, let's just talk about and discuss who exactly are, or what is, the Court of Owls. The Court of Owls is a secret society and criminal organization within the DC comic universe, particularly tied to Gotham City. First introduced in Batman Volume 1 from 2011 by writer Scott Snyder and artist Greg Capullo, as part of DC's new 52 initiative, the court has quickly become one of Dark Knight's most formidable enemies. The Court of Owls traces its origins back to the founding of Gotham City, operating in the shadows for centuries. They believe they are rightful rulers of the city, viewing themselves as its protectors. Though their methods are ruthless and manipulative, the court is composed of Gotham's wealthiest and most influential families who maintain their power through secrecy, political influence, and violence. The court operates from secret labyrinth bases hidden within the city. Their name and symbol are derived from owls nocturnal predators, and natural enemies of bats, signifying their opposition to Gotham's most famous vigilante, Batman! The Court of Owls employs elite assassins known as Talons, who are highly trained killers selected from various eras. Through a mysterious process involving regeneration technology, these Talons are made virtually immortal, often put into a hibernation state and awakened when needed. They possess enhanced physical abilities, regenerative healing, and are nearly unstoppable foes for Batman. In the Court of Owls storyline, the court becomes a central antagonist to Batman. As Bruce Wayne seeks to uncover Gotham's hidden history, he is drawn into a brutal battle against them. Batman initially refuses to believe in the court's existence, considering it a mere urban legend. However, he is forced to confront the reality of their power when they target both Bruce Wayne and Batman, attempting to kill him using talons. The Night of Owls crossover event escalates this battle. The court sends its talons to eliminate key figures across Gotham, including members of the Bat family and city officials. Batman, along with his allies, work to protect Gotham from this deadly attack. The court's obsession with Gotham includes an interest in its ruling families, particularly the Waynes. There are hints that the court may have been responsible for many significant events in the city's history, including possibly orchestrating the murders of Thomas and Martha Wayne, though this is left ambiguous. In some storylines, Bruce Wayne's own family maybe have deeper connections to the court. A notable twist occurs when it's suggested that Lincoln March, a prominent Gotham businessman and one of the court's members, may be Bruce Wayne's lost brother, Thomas Wayne Jr., though this claim remains controversial and unclear. The Court of Owls has since appeared in various media beyond comics, including animated films such as Batman vs. Robin from 2015, TV shows like Gotham, and video games like Gotham Knights. The Court of Owls represents one of Batman's most dangerous adversaries, not through brute strength, but through their insidious influence over Gotham's history, politics, and elite. 
Their deep-rooted presence challenges Batman's understanding of the city and pushes him to confront the darker aspects of its past. As a symbol of Gotham's secretive and corrupt underbelly, the Court of Owls has become one of the most iconic modern additions to Batman's rogue gallery. Everything about the Court of Owls seems to fit right in with Matt with what Matt Reeves is doing in his new Batman. Now, of course, Batman doesn't have a Bat family as of yet. He has Alfred. Rumors are that uh, that Robin could be making an appearance. And I say, bring on some Barbara Gordon. Let's go bring them all in. Matt Reeves, I have faith in you. Let's see what you got. What do you guys think? Court of Owls making it to the Reeves verse? Or is he going to hush that away and use them for another rainy day? Would you be open to see the Court of Owls? I think it would be a nice little button to end the trilogy with the Court of Owls. Maybe kind of name drop them now in the second movie and then use them as the big bad antagonist in the third of matt reeves proposed trilogy let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching give us a like and a subscribe and until next time may you be the master of your own universe